Let's get started working on the scale. Relationship between area and perimeter. The rectangles below have the same perimeter. If the area of the right rectangle is eight square inches, what are its dimensions? Now, before we get started, I see some vocabulary words that we should probably review before. So we've got the word perimeter, area, and dimensions. Dimensions is just referring to the side lengths. So when it's asking for the dimensions of the right rectangle, it's just saying, what is the length and what is the width? Perimeter is talking about the distance all the way around a shape. We're going to use a capital P to talk about perimeter. So for example, in the blue rectangle on the left, to find the perimeter, we would need to add up all the sides. This is a rectangle, so it has four sides, which means we have four numbers, but I only see two. But a rectangle, things that are across from each other are the same, so the top and the bottom are both five, and the right and left are both one. So if we're going to find the perimeter, we would need to find the distance all the way around. So it would be 5 plus 1 plus 5 plus 1. If we had maybe forgotten about those other two sides because they weren't labeled, we would have only had the first 5 and 1. But it's a rectangle, so we have to have four numbers. So this perimeter is going to be 5 plus 1 is 6, plus another 5 plus 1 is 6. We add those together, so it is 12. So perimeter is the distance all the way around the shape. Now the area, on the other hand, which we're going to use a capital A to represent, is talking about covering the entire shape. So that's basically all of the inside of the shape. The perimeter was the outside, the area is the inside. And we find area by multiplying length times width. The length of this rectangle on the left is five, and the width is one. So the area of the blue rectangle is going to be five. So we have a perimeter of 12 and an area of 5. Now, the rectangle on the right, we have this information that the area is 8. And we want to find the perimeter. We know that the area is equal to 8. And we know that the perimeter is the same so we have to figure out what the dimensions are. Now the key information is that we know the area. The area is 8 so we have to find the factors of 8. In other words we have to find the two numbers that multiply together to get 8. It could either be 1 and 8 or 2 and 4. So let's try the first one. Let's say that this side length is 1 and this side length is 8. If we were to try to find the perimeter of that, we would need it to stay 1 plus 8 plus 1 plus 8. Let's see, does that match our perimeter of 12? 1 plus 8 is 9, plus another 1 plus 8 is 9, and 9 plus 9 is 18. That's too big. So 1 and 8 cannot be the dimensions. So let's check 2 and 4. So let's say that this side was 2, and this side is 4. So we're going to try 2 plus 4 plus 2 plus 4 because it has four sides. Two plus four is six, another two plus four is six, and six plus six is equal to 12. 
that is the same perimeter. So we know that two and four are the dimensions or the side lengths of the right rectangle. Let's try another one. The rectangles below have the same perimeter. If the area on the right rectangle is six, what are its dimensions? So let's find the perimeter of the run on the left. Four plus one plus four plus one. The first four plus one is five. The second four plus one is five. So we have 10. So we need that to match on the purple rectangle. And we know that the area is equal to six. So what are the factors of six? It's either one and six or two and three. So we've got the, the perimeter is either going to be one plus six plus one plus six or two plus three plus two plus three. And the one that is correct is the one that will equal 10 because we know that they have the same perimeter. One plus six is seven plus another one plus six is seven, and that is equal to 14. That is not the same as 10. So let's try the two and the three. Two plus three is five, plus another two plus three is five, which does in fact equal 10. And that is the same. So the dimensions of the area for the dimensions of the rectangle on the right, which has an area of six, are two and three. The rectangles below have the same perimeter. If the area of the rectangle on the right is five, what are its dimensions? Let's find this perimeter. Four plus two plus four plus two is going to equal 12. This area is equal to five. The factors of five are just one and five. So that's probably our answer, but let's just check. If this side is one and this side is five, let's find that perimeter. One plus five plus one plus five will give us two different sixes and those together equal 12. So the dimensions are one and five. The rectangles below have the same perimeter. If the area of the right rectangle is five square millimeters, what are its dimensions? Two plus four plus two plus four will equal 12. This area on the right rectangle is five. The factors of five are one and five. So that means that if that's the only option, it must equal 12. So let's check it. One plus five plus one plus five does in fact equal 12. So our dimensions are one millimeter and five millimeters. The rectangles below have the same perimeter. If the area is 10 square miles for the yellow rectangle, what are its dimensions? Let's find the perimeter of the pink one. Three plus four plus three plus four is equal to 14. The area of the yellow rectangle is 10. The factors of 10 are 1 and 10, or 2 and 5. So we either have 1 plus 10 plus 1 plus 10, which is equal to 22. That's too big. Or 
2 plus 5 plus 2 plus 5. And that is the same thing as 7 plus 7, which is equal to 14. So the correct dimensions are 2 and 5. The rectangles below have the same perimeter. If the area of the right rectangle is eight square kilometers, what are its dimensions? Perimeter of the left one is five plus one plus five plus one, which is equal to 12. And we have area equal to eight. So we either have one and eight or two and four. So we have one plus eight. 8 plus 1 plus 8 or 2 plus 4 plus 2 plus 4. So I see that these two 8s, when I add them together, that's equal to 16 already, which is bigger than 12. So I think that one's not going to work, so I'm going to try the other one first. 2 plus 4 is 6. Another 2 plus 4 is 6. So that is equal to 12, and that is the correct one. So I was right about those eights being too big. So our answer is two kilometers and four kilometers. The rectangles below have the same perimeter. If the area of the right rectangle is six, what are its dimensions? So perimeter of the left is four plus one, and four plus one, the perimeter is equal to 10. The area over here is 6. So either got 1 and 6 or 2 times 3 to give us 6. And we're going to find those two options. 1 plus 6 plus 1 plus 6 or 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus three. Now, those are our options, but one and six are not even answer choices. We have three by one, one by two, and two by three. Three by one equals three. That's not the right area. One times two is two. That's not the right area. And two times three is six. That is the correct area. Does two plus three plus two plus three equal ten? It sure does. So we found our right answer. The rectangles below have the same perimeter. If the area of the right rectangle is 10, what are its dimensions? So we've got 4, 3, plus 4, plus 3. This perimeter is equal to 14. And the area here is equal to 10. That leaves me with 1 times 10 or 2 times 5. 2 times 5 is 10, so that's an option. 4 times 2 is 8, that's not the right area. And 5 times 4 is 20, that's not the right area. So let's check this 2 and this 5 just to be sure. 2 plus 5 plus 2 plus 5 is in fact 14. The rectangles below have the same perimeter. Let's go ahead and find the perimeter of the one on the left. 5 plus 2 plus 5 plus 2 is equal to 14. And we need the area to equal 12. 12 has a bunch of factors. 1 times 12, 2 and 6, or 3 and 4. So look at our answer choices to see if we need to try all of them or just a few of them. 3 times 4, we did, is equal to 12, so that might work. 3 times 5 is 15. That's not the right per, uh, area that we need. And 5 times 4 is 20. That's not the right area that we need. So let's check this 3 and this 4. 3 plus 4 plus 3 plus 4.
3 plus 4 plus 3 plus 4 gives us 7 plus 7, which is equal to 14. So the 4 by 3 rectangle is the correct answer. The rectangles below have the same perimeter. If the area of the right rectangle is 12, what are its dimensions? So let's find the perimeter of the first one. 5 plus 2 plus 5 plus 2 is equal to 14. We have 12 as our area, which is 1 times 12, 2 times 6, or 3 times 4. Let's check our answer choices. 3 times 5 is 15. That's not the right area. 4 times 3 is 12. That is a good one. And 5 times 4 is 20. That's too big. So let's check 3 times 4. So we've got 3 plus 4 plus 3 plus 4. And that does equal 14 for the perimeter. So our answer is 3 meters and 4 meters.